Right, so we're going to go back out to Beaverton right now where some students are returning to class today. Yes, we have reestablished communication with Cora Harlan. It's the first day for Beaverton's Arts and Magnet Academy. So, uh, Cora, you're showing off the brand new building that students will be in this year. Cora? Oh. That's right. Hey, Cora was never late for school. Oh, you can take that to the bank. Ask my teachers. All right. Hey, if you mistake the hallway that I'm in for maybe a museum, there's a good reason for that because we are in a Arts and Communications Magnet Academy, the new school building here with overhead museum lights, illustrations on the walls. It couldn't look uh, any more like an Arts and Communications school than it does. And as you mentioned, this is a brand new building that will be learned in for the first time time starting today. It'll house about 725 students who've been in uh, some temporary digs for the last couple of years while this is being built. This is a uh, program in the Beaverton School District uh, that was founded in about 1992 to give kids uh, with sort of an artistic bent, a little bit of an outlet, a little bit of place to call home and school. And this is a big common area right here with people from, uh, from screen left to screen right. This is Principal Bjorn Page. <laughs> Bjorn Page, this is Dia Gary, and this is Alexis here from left to right. Good morning to all of you. And first of all, I want to start with a couple of you kids here. Uh, a little bit about uh, Dia, a little bit about learning in a new school for, for the first time. Is this, a, is this this a big deal, I guess, right? Oh, yeah, I think it's definitely a very much wanted change at the building. Like, speaking for me personally, I'm a dancer, and at the old building, we had these tiny old portables out right. in the back. So if it was raining or really cold, you kind of had to run out there and scamper into the studios. <laughs> but we got gorgeous big studios, yeah. three new ones with, like, really nice floors. So I'm excited for that. Your after <laughs> afterthought for dancing and stuff like that. Alexis, let's talk a little bit about this big stage up here and the sound wall behind us, because this is a central part of the, uh, of the common area out here. It's going to be a place, I guess, where probably a lot of kids will hang out. Oh, right? yeah, I'm sure there's going to be like open mics, things like that. I'm really, really excited to see what people are going to do because I remember last year we had them, I think, in the library. And I think having them on this big stage and we could also have like different people speak. So I'm really excited to oh, see. It's going to be cool. Piano's up there. Bjorn, let's get you in here too. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the buildings, a lot of the classrooms, of course, tailored for reading, writing, and arithmetic, but a lot of the other building uh, rooms uh, designed, as, uh, as Dia said here, for things like dance, things like uh, performance some rooms tailor-made for that purpose. Very much so, uh, very much so. And we've seen both an upgrade. Dia talked about the dance studios going from something that was not as good as it should be into something that's grand. Music has seen the same kind of upgrade from a low-slung portable with panel, wood paneling to this gorgeous space. And then some new spaces, like a recording studio, which we've never had. And so things like that are, are going to really be good for the kids. Well, it's a, this is a principal's dream come true, right? Yeah. A new school building on the first day here. I want to take you out here just by showing you some of the uh, old features. Bjorn, come over here for just a sec and help me through this. These old big timbers sitting over here that people are sitting on as we take it back to you, Jen and Ken are from the old building, correct? They are. These are from 1948 construction. They were above our library. This is uh, how they did it in the mid-century. And we saw these beams. They were so gorgeous. We knew we wanted to save them. So we had them uh, brought in, and they're now our benches for kids, both inside and we have some outside as well. All right, we'll take it back to you. First school bus pulling right up to the building here. That has never happened before. Big day uh, for a lot of the kids, a lot of the students here at the uh, Arts and Communications uh, Academy. Uh, the Art and Communications Magnet Academy, I should say, here in the Beaverton School District celebrating day one of a new building here. Exciting day. Yeah, very good. And uh, I have, uh, you know, encountered students who have come from that uh, Arts and, and, and uh, Magnet Academy, and it does a really good job with those students, getting them out ready for the real world. So appreciate yeah. that. That is very exciting stuff yeah, as the yeah. buses arrive. Two examples arrive. of that in here already today. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Cor. Hey, it's 642 right now. Just ahead, the Willamette Valley Wine Region making a big announcement.